guys how are you guys doing so this is a response video to a couple of questions that were asked so the first question was uh why didn't you just go under the car unplug the uh, the screw the plug screw and just let it drain uh reason being is for a 2008 nissan altima there is no um there is no filter plug screw what you gotta do is you gotta unscrew the whole entire pan take the pan out Obviously, you're going to have a mess because, you know, there's no plug screw. You're not taking the fluid from the top. So what's going to happen is you're going to have, a, you know, all the fluid that's in the pan. And once you take the screws off the pan, it's going to start dripping out. And then once you take, the, you know, all of that, all of that fluid is going to be, you're going to need something to catch it. All that stuff. Like, like there's no point to that. All right. Um, I'm not. That, that's the reason why I didn't uh, do it from the bomb. Obviously, it's a lot easier to do it with the bomb if you can, but obviously you can't because 2008 Alt Altimas and I don't know about any other models, but 2008 Altimas it won't allow you to do that because there's no screw at the bottom. You got you got to take the pan out. So a second question is, won't? All right. So this guy this guy mentions flushing. I, this, the whole video was not about flushing. The whole video was not flushing my transmission fluid. My the video is changing the transmission fluid. So that's got nothing to do with it. So you know when you change your transmission fluid, uh, taking out you know either from the top or the bottom, uh, and then refilling it. You know the guy mentioned something about contaminating the old you know transmission fluid, but whatever's left in there with you know the transmission fluid that 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 you put in. And it's like it's like the same thing when you do uh, the the oil change um, on on the engine. Obviously, it's not going to be a flush. There's going to be some old fluid uh, in the in the engine compartment. And once you put the new fluid in, it's going to contaminate. I guess. I mean, that's that's what the guy says. But there's not going to be enough in there to actually you know <laughs> change up the consistency of of, of the fluid. All right, you, you know, it's not a flush. If you guys want to do a flush, it's a lot more intensive. It's a lot more expensive, and uh, it's it's really unnecessary. I mean, changing the fluid, you're going to take out most of the fluid um, the way I did it from the top and then putting uh, new fluid in. It works pretty good. All right, the third question from this guy is, the guy wants to know, uh, you know, he mentioned that uh, it's better to do, to to use manufactured, you know, your your, your car company's CVT fluid. Obviously, uh, you know, if you know, obviously, it's that's the ideal thing to do. But I I'm not gonna go online and 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 you know spend like waiting for you know spend whatever amount of money waiting for a week for to get you know transmission fluid CVT transmission fluid from Nissan. Or, or, or anybody who's selling it on eBay, you know, you could get you could get CVT fluid from AutoZone or, or Advanced Auto, Pepways, any of those places. And you know, if you go online and just read the reviews on Casual CVT, um, it, you know, they're they're pretty decent, they're pretty good, no issues with it. For me personally, and apparently from anybody else, uh, you can put twenty thousand miles. I I put twenty thousand miles on on this CVT casual CVT transmission fluid and I haven't had any issues with it. My car drives fine, no problems at all. Last question from this guy was about, um, you know, he he mentions that 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 the the max is eight quarts, um, and you could put eight quarts max in in the uh, transmission. And uh, why do that, guys? I, you know, in my video, I put about four quarts in. Uh, I've noticed that if I put less uh, transmission fluid, like maybe three quarts, which is at the lower end of, of the dipstick meter, um, you know, it works a lot better. For my personal thought, I mean, I've only done it once, but my car, just the transmission just drove a lot better uh, as far as, as far as you know, all those issues with the wine and other stuff. I, 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 I think it actually helped it, helped to keep it um, in tip top shape, you know. So it, it, it took a lot, lot longer for the wine to, to reappear and stuff like that, to reappear, to come back. And, uh, you know, normally when you go and get an, an oil change for your engine, they don't fill it up all the way. They fill it up halfway. So, but the recommended uh, fill up for, for a CVT transmission for, for Nissan is about halfway. If you could fill it up halfway, 
uh, on on the uh, dipstick, uh, you're good on it. I mean, that's the recommended fill up. It's halfway on the dipstick. You know, when you go check your transmission fluid, it should be halfway uh, on that little half of the of the dipstick. So, I mean, if, if you're just gonna put more in, you're just wasting money. That's there's no point to that.